So what do you use if you don't have a tripod and you're at home and you just have to create that photo or you just have to create that video? I'm gonna give you three hacks. Hey and welcome, thank you for joining me here on my channel. My name is Abigail and I am all about personal branding for women entrepreneurs who are here to make an impact in the world to explore their personal confidence, to expand their knowledge and their tech toolkit, and to express their personal brands. So if that sounds like you, then please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Click that link down below so that you get notified when I post new videos. So this one, as you will have seen from the title, is all about tripod hacks. Now, if you are a female entrepreneur who is looking to expand her visibility, and I know you are because you've clicked on this video, you've probably realized that you need to start taking more photos of yourself, you need to start taking more videos of yourself, and if you're not a professional photographer like I am, then chances are you don't have all, you know, gear and all the things that you need to get going with that, to be able to create a professional quality product that people would come back to to watch or to look at. The other reason I'm making this video is because 2020 changed my business as a professional photographer. I had to take my photography services online and so now I offer remote photo shoots and that means I am dependent on my clients knowing how to use their phones, their mobile phones, when we do the shoot and to educate them on how to set it up. So this is that video. So if you're a client of mine, thank you so much for booking me and you're gonna find this video super, super useful. First prize, if you're looking to create your own videos or your own photos is that you have tripods. First of all, you need to have the phone in the first place with a smart camera or a smartphone with a camera and then you need to have a tripod of your own. So this would be lovely. This is a handy little tripod. I take it with me all the time. And you need to have the secondary bracket like that so that you can hold your phone on the tripod. Secondary to that would be a really big tripod with longer legs because then you can put it everywhere else, wherever you need it. Because this one, you can only use on the on a tabletop or you would need to find some point of elevation for your phone to be at the right height whereas a tripod with longer legs you can adjust the height so that would be first prize but i'm going to go ahead and assume that you don't have a tripod so what do you use if you don't have a tripod and you're at home and you just have to create that photo or you just have to create that video I'm gonna give you three hacks don't need a tripod there are things lying around your house right now that you can turn into a tripod a makeshift tripod shall we get cracking with that so hack number one all you're gonna need for this hack is a decent size mug. This is my favorite coffee mug because it's it holds a lot of coffee. So you're gonna need a decent size mug with a decent size diameter over here. You're going to need two pieces of scrap paper and then obviously you're going to need your phone. So hack number one, it's so basic. You'll be like, why didn't I think of this one when you see what I'm gonna tell you to do. Scrunch up your pieces of paper and pop them both in there. Bob's your uncle. Here's your tripod, super easy, super mobile. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. For your second tripod hack, you're gonna need your phone and you're going to need two books. They need to be fairly hefty in weight, but they're quite sturdy, so make them quite thick. Probably best if they are um, hardcover. You're gonna put them side by side, spines together, and then simply put your phone in between. And that keeps your phone nice and sturdy, nice and upright. And you can put these books on whatever table you need to have them. Works for horizontal as well. Although in this position, you'll probably see the front of the book. So probably best left for a vertical shot. Hack number two, easy, huh? And then for the final tripod hack, you're going to need a paper cup, a sharp knife, and some scissors. 
and of course your phone and what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper cup and you're going to turn it to the bottom and then you're going to cut two sides of the cup so you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut it that way just like that and like that you're going to do two slices like that here's one I made earlier that's what you want it to come out like so you've got a slit down the top then once you've cut that you simply put your phone in the gap and there you go it's helpful if you've got two cups so that you can practice on one and then go for the real McCoy on the second one but this one also works very well for your horizontal shots as well so there you go there's three easy hacks on how to create a tripod for your mobile phone if you're stuck at home if you don't have access to a tripod or a bracket or you can't get your hands on one here are three very simple solutions to get you going so that you can record those videos take those photos and start elevating your visibility with more confidence i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel down below and then share this video with a friend who has been pulling her hair out because she hasn't got around to buying that tripod yet and she needs a solution because she's got things to share she's got people that need to hear what she has to share send her this video that's it for now. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Hi and welcome to this video. I'm glad you clicked on that button. You're in for a good ride. Hmm, that doesn't sound good.